All right, we're back with some more robot ratings. No, it's 4 a.m. now. <laughs> so, but we're going to do some catching up. Here we go. We got Aiden from 3050s W. We got that color sorting mic, I'm assuming, right? Ring ejector. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a beat here. You know, haven't really, you know, didn't see the actual mechanism, but we did see a, 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 little, a, a, little, a little leak. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Here we go. Paradox. Uh, right, looking like a just looking like you just kind of started on it i'm guessing but uh already i'm seeing a lot of collapsing in the drivetrain definitely want to fix that right i'd really just add more cross bracing here i just i I'd definitely like um would suggest two two cross uh cross braces right one on the front one on the back something like that right uh one on the bottom one on the top maybe both on the bottom both on the top right either one works and also the uh, battery's not looking too hot i think you want to work on that but hey, I think I think maybe maybe they're a new team. It's definitely, 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 you know, could could have a lot of room for impor improvement. So getting a D tier. Red two days to competition. Well, tell me how the competition went. Right, it looks looks like they didn't really fix this part. Right, you know, I was saying I'm definitely way too late now. My bad. But hey, if team some teams are, if some of you guys are struggling with the the plastic problem that they had, where it's like. Uh, touching the ground, then you know, add some standoffs or some screw, uh, some screws on the bottom right that's sticking far out, and it will go just under the plastic piece, and it will just kind of like just, just lift, just lift it up a little bit, right? Just like maybe a millimeter higher than this right now, right, where it's not touching the floor, but also that prevents it from ever going back down because you know it's hard stopped now. So that's, if, if that makes sense, that's you know definitely, definitely uh, where to go with that. You know, maybe you can do a, a hood lady brown on this, right? That'd be interesting. I definitely want to see that. I was getting a C tier for now. Uh, Grayson from 63975D. Here we go. This looks pretty clean. Looks looks pretty nice. I like it. Here we go. Yeah, and you know they have pretty clean poly on it too. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, I'd add like a lady brown on this, right? You know, maybe from these supports out here. Just you know, extend it out. You can extend it out like angular uh, at an angle, right? to really traverse that distance to the, uh, the as, as far front and high as you can get it. And then you just pull your, your bar back, your two bar, and you're chilling. And it's good. So I'm going to give it a beat here. No intake, but still clean from Cole. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I like the color scheme, right? Uh, yeah, blue, blue and yellow. Actually, no, blue and yellow doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go that hard. You don't. I like to see like maybe like a blue and white, like a light blue and white. I think I think I like that. But yeah, they have really good wire management so far. Really good tubing management. I like that. I'm gonna give it a B tier. Anyways, Jaden, six seventy five B first high school bot. Please give advice. Our intake is almost works. Uh, yeah, definitely looking like a like a hood hood redirect, right? I do know that. This is a while ago, so. You know, I think a lot of teams are doing hood Liddy Browns now. Ready for some magic. I think you're running the those those intake layers way too slow. I definitely want to at least double that. Double that speed. Right? Are you running a two motor intake? I'm assuming it's a two motor intake. No, it's a it's a three motor intake actually. We got two five point fives and an eleven. You guys got a lot of wattage to be using on your intake. But hey, you do you. I think definitely wanna cut that down to to at least, I mean, if you're on two motors, then you should really take advantage of all that power you have, right? Step that up to like at least 800 RPM, right? Even like maybe even 1200 RPM on those two motors. So take advantage of that and run it faster. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Guys, think our our intake is good? Uh, mm, no. <laughs> I just saw the first first ring there, kind of kind of just, just didn't get caught by the hook. And the reason for that is because there's too much space back down there, right? Uh, looking right here, right? Your hook just shot it out, right? It did not get on the hook. And what you need is you need a cover piece. You need a piece that a plastic piece that just like it's like you know it's just above here. So then it's able to flex up, right? So then the ring can still go up, but it's going to just be above here as like a flap, as a trap door basically, and that will force the ring. To not do that, it would force it down, and the ring and the hook will catch on. So, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a, give it a D tier. 
a rat, rat, little Will. Little Will's got his uh, a hood, hood redirect. Finally. Here we go. Let's see this hood redirect. Oh. I think that's the dunk mech, or whatever it is called. Bam. And it's on. Looks, looks pretty nice. I like it, I like it. I like it. I think... I think the intake could be a little faster. I, I think, yeah, yeah. I think most of the hoods are just... Whenever that happens, right, it just scares me because then, then the next ring could totally push that one off, right? The next ring comes on and just pushes that one off. So definitely a lot of tuning required with hooks, or sorry, with hoods. But yeah, I'll give this... It's good at beats here. Not not too bad, not too shabby. Leaf, 1, 4, 12 E. Locking in two days before our first comp. You guys better have locked in. This is so nice. I like the lighting for sure. It's good in it's good in an eight here actually. I like that. I'm trying to lock in. And they drive in and they're hitting those wall stakes. They're hitting them fast. Let's go. Pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean. It's good in the eights here as well. You know, pretty nice. Alright, sister team activities. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to see your sister team with that. That that's not a good look. Right, I just tell them to you know go, go play something, go play Fortnite, man. It's, it's, Vex is not, they're not built out for, they're not built for Vex. They're not, you know, not ready for this game. Uh, th those are some very, very bent, low strength shafts on that five, five point five. Well, I didn't know five point five watt can do all that. That's crazy, man. <laughs> this is a very cursed image, gotta say. You know, I, I would just, uh, yeah, just go play Fortnite. I would, I would definitely. Uh, not, not not proceed i'd rebuild all right paul 244d comp tomorrow my cooked you know it looks pretty good uh we at it we went four and two and made it to quarters good job man that's definitely pretty solid i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a b tier i, I like the hood you know respect it respect um 14760a comp in three weeks Three weeks. It's been three weeks. Their comp has happened. Wow, you know it's been it's been a long time, but they're he doesn't like a brown max and wants to build a six bar. You know, I think I think just get over your your dislikement of Lady Brown Max. I'd, I'd build a Lady Brown Max. Those are definitely meta right now, and I think they're going to remain meta for a while. But anyways, one thing I want to point out about your by your back clamp is, you know. Like I said, and I think in the previous video, I go top down, right? I think I see a lot of teams pulling in and pulling in, right? The the goal basically has to shape, has to go to the shape of your clamp, if that makes sense, right? The goal has to, because this clamp pulls it back, and it pulls on the goal wall, the inner walls. So the inner walls have to line up with this, this this clamp perfectly for it to for it to work right, for you to tune it. So instead of doing that, just press down on it, and wherever you press down. Right, so it's tilted up at the same same angle, and I like that a lot more. So, you know, overall pretty nice. I even I, I like your I like your guiders, right? And I like what you did here, right? Protecting that chain. So I'm gonna give it a beats here. Pretty pretty nice, you know, pretty solid. Comp tomorrow feedback appreciated. Wow, comp tomorrow, exciting. Hopefully you guys did well there, but yeah, dang, this is looking pretty. It's looking pretty good, you know. I like the I like the hood. I think they missed that blue ring there, unfortunately, but it's okay. They get that one, and they get that slow out 8 OP. Looking good, looking good. Let's see, let's take a look at this robot. I mean, just really nothing much to, to say about it. It looks pretty good. I think they probably should, you know, maybe add some wall stakes later on, right? Maybe add, a, add two, you know, bars coming up, you know, here, going diagonal, or going, going up here, right? And then just adding in a uh, lady brown arm, yeah. But yeah, looks looks really nice. One more one thing is just you don't need all that all those high strength shafts, right? Just you can change those out to to low strength. I do see a, a bunch of high strength shafts here. I really will cut down on the weight, but you know I'm gonna give it a beats here. Pretty nice, pretty pretty solid, pretty solid. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I think I'll be falling asleep in the next video.